Hi trainers, welcome to my channel. It's Heather and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, as you can probably see by this whole get up right now, I have finally managed to get my Clefairy video done. But it has come off the back of me having an atrocious bout of flu. If I am slightly more erratic than usual, it's probably because I am on a lot of flu medication right now. But I didn't want to delay this video any longer, so I just really have battled through um, because I just wanted to get this out here. I really, really enjoyed making this video. It's my favourite so far. Um, I think I've learned a lot from doing my first Bulbasaur video. I managed to cut down the production time by more than half which was great because Bulbasaur literally took me about seven hours to shoot because I just had no idea what I was doing. Today we are mainly going to be using the Lime Crime Venus XL palette which is a brand new palette. I've never used this and actually I've never used any Lime Crime products before so this is pretty interesting for me because I get to try a new product, you guys get to see me create this look. We're both happy, hopefully. Well anyway, let's get to it. And the primer I'm going to be using today is this. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation, which I actually picked up when I was in Canada. I'm just gonna pop this around my eyes at first. Oh, the difference a wet beauty sponge makes. The next thing we're going to do is um, apply some powder. I'm using, again, the Superstay powder by Maybelline, or Old Faithful, as I like to call her, um, in shade Fawn. And again, I'm just gonna pop that around the eyes and that acts as my base for my eyeshadow. For eyeshadow today, we are going to be using the Venus XL Lime Crime Palette. The reason I picked this up was because Boots sent me an email saying that they were stocking a whole bunch of new brands, Lime Crime included. So I picked this up and also just purely because of the fact that there were some gorgeous pinks in there. Are perfect for the Clefairy look that I'm doing today. So I got my hands on this and I've been practicing ever since. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take um, this shade here. So hang on, let me, oh crikey, let me line this. Mm, can, there it is, okay. There, Ugh. scallop, scallop, okay, got it. So we're gonna get scallop and we're just going to Pop that on the bit of, like this bit here, you'll see. And once you've done that, we're going to take shade Goddess, which is um, a slightly darker, uh, <laughs> a slightly darker pink. Um, and then we're just gonna put that in our crease, like an arc in our crease. We're just kind of layering shades now. We're gonna buff that out. Honestly, the colors in this palette are gorgeous. It reminds me of fruit salads, the sweets, if anybody remembers those. Then we're gonna take shade Triumph. We're just gonna do the same thing and put it in our crease. And then buff, buff, buff it out. Looking good? It'll do. Um, and then what we're gonna do is just, I think, take a bit more scallop, just to buff out the top bit. Pew! Guys, we're gonna cut the crease. The crease is to be cut. Every time I've tried this, it's not gone. Fantastic! I have hooded eyelids, the ones that, they've got flaps flappy eyelids. They're not ideal. 
but we're gonna try and make it work. Mm -mm -mm. What I'm gonna do is take my Tarte foundation and then use that to put it on my eyelid. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I've watched like six videos. I'm an expert, basically. And then I've got this little brush. Oh. Can you see it? That I'm gonna use to paint my eyelids. And then I'm going to set another eyeshadow on top of that. I've never really, this is my first cut crease look. Never done one, in, worn one in real life. Let's just see how it goes. Can I just tell you at this stage how, how terrified I am right now? I'm terrified. Makeup is hard. I've done it. It's burning a little bit. I don't think that's supposed to happen. This beauty is suffering. Ugh. It's done. It's burning so bad. I sh I'm. I I don't want to take this off though because it actually looks okay. I'm just gonna ride this out for like a minute and then see how I feel. <laughs> I'm in the clutch of a flu that is driving me to delirium right now. <sighs> now that this has stopped burning, just about, we're gonna take ethereal and pop that on my eyelids. I've just spritzed the brush with my setting spray to make it more impactful. Okay, let me do a close up. It's actually really nice. That's a very cute Clefairy color. I really like it. So what I'm gonna do now is take Goddess and blend my outer corners in so it just looks a bit more cohesive. I'm going to use my beloved Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave palette because I want a shiny white. Um, so I'm just using this colour here. Uh, I lost the name sheet so I don't know what it's called. I'm really sorry. But I'm just going to apply this to my inner eye and just under my eyebrow as a highlighter. I'm now gonna just apply some eyeshadow under my eye. I'm going to use Ethereal um, in the inner corner and then blend it out with Goddess on the outer corner. Right, my eyes are momentarily done. I'm going to apply my foundation and concealer, my powder, do my base face, my base face, and then I will rejoin you and we'll crack on with the rest of the stuff. Does this look even remotely different? Next is blush, and because Clefairy is a pink old Pokemon, I'm gonna use quite a pink blush. I have this Revolution blush palette and I'm using this shade here to do my blush. Let me say blush one more time, blush. And I wanna build it on quite heavily because she pink. For highlight, I'm using a Revolution strobe highlighter that I got in my advent calendar last year. Now this one is white, but I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's got a greeny tint to it. Clefairy evolves using the moonstone, so I wanted to bring some moon themed elements 
I'm going to apply this very liberally all over my gosh darn face. <laughs> Fall out is crazy. Now this does come out quite chalky, but then you can blend it out. What I'm gonna do now is put some eyeshadow through my eyebrows. I haven't really planned this out, so I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work out, but I'm going to use the shade Celestial. Oh my God, so much <laughs> of my own hair in this brush. Oh, lovely. I'm gonna put my mascara on. I'm just using Maybelline's Great Lash um, in very black. It's the most black. I don't know why I've just done that. I haven't put eyeliner on or anything. I'm just, this cold is eating me up from the inside out. Uh, I'm gonna let this dry. Then I'm gonna put my eyeliner on. Then I need to put my setting spray on because why would you put setting spray on after your mascara so it just smears all over your face. I put the eyeliner on my other eye to start with. I'm just using the Body Shop's gel pen eyeliner. I did it. Eyeliner is done. It's not dramatic but it's done, it's on. Let's put on some lipstick. I'm using L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Matte in Erotique. Oh yes, Erotique. I got this free when I bought some makeup from Boots the other day. This smells like lipstick that my grandma used to wear. It's oddly nostalgic for me. I am using this weird little thing which I got from my Japanese subscription box I don't know what brand this is now because I've taken it out of the packaging but it's a top coat for lips and eyes so I'm gonna pop that on top of the lips because I want to give it a shimmer just using Urban Decay's D Slick because I do get oily skin Time for eyelashes. Today I'm going to be using Eyelure. Eyelure. I've never said that word out loud. These are the. These. Unfortunately, my camera died again. We should be okay now. Things seem to be working, so that's good. I have got my eyelashes on, and now I am going to put my pearls on. I went onto Amazon and I bought a bunch of pearls that you can stick on your face. I think they're supposed to be used for crafting, to be honest. I don't think they're supposed to be used for makeup, but that's what I'm gonna use them for. So I bought a bunch of them. They're all assorted sizes. And I'm going to use them just again to touch on the theme of the moon. I'm going to pop some of these on my face. And in order to do so, I just bought some of this. This was just from Amazon. I've put my pearls on. Let me give you a close up. I think they look very cute. And then there is just one more thing for me to do. Here it is. It's a wig. I got a wig. I love it. It is amazing. Um, I've styled it. I've got some wonky space buns in, got some clips in, and it's letting me live my Clefairy fantasy right now. This is the final look. I wanted to experiment with some more outlandish elements in my makeup. I don't know if you can really call sticking some craft material onto my face outlandish, but it's a start. 
thank you so much for watching this video i can't tell you how happy i am with this finished look it really makes me happy to actually see how far my makeup skills have actually come even in just the last year alone i'm really looking forward to my next video because it is going to be Ponyta, thanks to James for recommending that in the comments in my last video. And actually, perfectly coincides with the announcement of Galarian Ponyta. So that is exactly what I'm doing. We're going to do Ponyta, but we're going to do it with the Galarian twist. If you liked this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you liked it that much, maybe you want to subscribe. I think you should. And that means that you can go ahead and see that Galarian Ponytar video when it comes out as well. I for one think that you should. It's it's a very good idea. You should like, subscribe and also comment. Why not? Let me know your thoughts. Did I do good? Did I do bad? Thank you so much, guys, and have a fantastic day. Bye.